Hey guys, so I went to Vegas for a six day trade show. I was filling in for a coworker who had fallen ill, so they flew me out to Vegas to the world market. So I am leaving my beloved Monterey Bay. Adios, my beautiful paradise. I mean, just look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, I mean, no, like, really, look at it. Like, that edge is just amazing. So if you've never been to the World Market in Las Vegas, it is big and badass. It's crazy. It's a it's basically a 6-day trade show of just everything and anything you could ever desire. So I was there. It was complete eye candy. And we did really well, but I had never been so far away from my family for so long, so I was a little homesick. Um so yeah. I was with a group of three people. So the first night we went out uh, looking for Mexican food at Casa Don Juan in Las Vegas. It was like retro Vegas. I went super simple and delicious with a fajita salad. Yes, I did. All other days were kind of just a blur. I was constantly working eight to 10 hours, mostly fasting those days, just living off of coffee. Each night was a dream to eat second night was salad and wings and just amazingness third day more coffee and work this place is mega mega that day i actually got to go out and explore but when i did that i also legit went out there looking for food because <laughs> i was hungry and i was outside so there was some food trucks and I managed to have found myself um, a really simple food truck that made burgers. I actually got out and found food today. And I made it a double. Hell yeah, I'm starving. And I've been so good this week. Yes. So I love me some mayo. Squeeze it on, put it on. I sat here that day devouring this burger to my ultimate satisfaction and it completely hit the spot and I didn't even care. It gobbled up the whole dang thing, even with red onions, which I know is not completely keto friendly because they're sweet. But I mean, how could you not look at it? Sorry about the lipstick. It's gross. <laughs> yes, sir. After that... You know, day four was completely a blur. I was like, what freaking day is this, honestly? But I made sure to eat very well at the end of each day. Yes, I did. We went out as a group. We feasted. I had mostly proteins and vegetables. I did splurge a little bit with some Pinot Grigio white wine on the last and final night. And we dined out at some... Italian restaurant that has amazing legit keto foods but of course it was Vegas and you can't go to Vegas without having a little pleasure and seeing Elvis so we saw Elvis and we were also graced with the bitchy attitude of Ms. Lisa Vanderpump my poor co-worker Suzanne had no idea who this woman was and was working with her and Lisa was very irritated. How can no how can you not know my name? I have a big sign outside with my name. I have a restaurant here. She was a complete asshole. But we got through it. We pushed through it. In the end, we were successful. We did really well. And Vegas did not win. We were there. We conquered in big, bad Las Vegas world market. And now we are out this bitch. This time we're heading back on the road. Um, I'm heading back with my coworker who drove up originally in a van. So now we need to find road trip keto snacks. Can I do that? Okay, guys. So I'm road tripping back home and found these amazing Linkwitches, which are, is make, made by Jack Links. We're here at the Chevron, and we went into the store, and it's so cute. It's like a little keto cheese and salami sandwich. So cute. I love it. I'm being a little bad having one of these. I know um, 
I mean, it doesn't have any carbs in it, but it's not the best thing for you. But hey, we're um, running on pure adrenaline right now. And these two, also by Jack Links. Kudos to Jack Links for coming up. One carb for two cheese sticks and two meat sticks. Fucking awesome. And then, you know, easy road trip snack. Yes. So there you have it guys you could totally do keto wherever you are those were just some options from some of the places that i had gone to and they were mostly just restaurants inside my tuscany suite casino and hotel pub 365 it was like a diner and also just a tuscan italian restaurant and i ate from every single place finding myself keto friendly foods and of course, you're in Vegas. Live your life. If you have a piece of bread, don't jump off a bridge. It's not that big of a deal. Keto, the best part of keto is that you can cater it to yourself. If you can make it your own, make it work for you. Make it your bitch. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. Tell me all the things you love about Lisa Vanderpump. Because I know you guys be watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't. I don't give her that attention, but I know where she's from.